I find F waves really fascinating. Normally, when we're activating a muscle to move, the signal goes in one direction from our brain all the way down spinal cord, peripheral nerve, all the way to the muscle. So let's say if I want to um, move my APB muscle and contract it, then it goes in one direction. If I do this electrically, however, and I stimulate the median nerve down here, the signal will not only pass across the APB muscle, but also some of that signal will also spread upwards all the way to its originating cell, to the anterior horn cell, which will be at the lower cervical uh, CAT1 level. That's a really useful thing for us to be able to do because we can actually look at the entirety of the nerve all the way up to its originating cell. Very helpful if we're looking at low cervical, lower lumbar radiculopathies, where there can be delay or um, absence of these responses. Also very helpful if we're looking at things like inflammatory uh, neuropathies, such as Guillain-Barre or the CIDPs, where there can be very proximal uh, nerve root inflammation and demyelination. Um, and they can also be helpful, for example, in patients who may have motor neuron disease. So a really fascinating property of the nerves and its architecture such that we can test the signal all the way up to its originating point at spinal level.